Welcome to our tutorial where we are going to learn about uh, installing Fedora 30 on a Mac using VMware Fusion. This comprehensive guide is designed to help both beginners and seasoned users who want to run Fedora as a virtual machine within macOS. By the end of this video we will cover everything from the initial setup of Fedora and uh, um, the first boot. We will also go through configuring the virtual machine for optimal performance and usability whether we are looking for a developed software, run server environment or simply explore a different operating system you will have all the knowledge you need to get started with Fedora on your Mac. Let's dive in! The first step is head to fedoraproject.org and learn about what distribution is good for you like a workstation server or IoT and learn also about the new release of Fedora 30 by Matthew Miller on the 23rd of April. You can see all the breakdown and release note or just a small text. Once you successfully choose your version, download your ISO file, head to the VMware Fusion and select where the ISO file is. Be mindful to select the right architecture, so in my case ARCH64 for ARM architecture. Great, I can customize where to the location of the virtual machine as well as also the amount of processor, 2 is the default and 2 gig of RAM is also the default. We can customize with higher requirement if you want or leave it as default. Now we are good to go. The first boot actually is from the CD-ROM, the virtualizer image that is going to detect our hardware and launch the installation process. So a lot of screen and text like this, uh, similar to Matrix, means that uh, the software is actually detecting our system and all the hardware connected. Great, now the UI will kickstart and start uh, the wizard process. It's gonna st let's start with uh, language selection, let's start with English, United States, uh, and we can move forward on our journey. I'm testing a pre-release version but will be the same exact process on the final version. First of all we need to partition our disk. The installer is capable of doing everything automatically usually is a good choice. Uh, you can choose if you want uh, the root user. But in my case let me set up just a normal user DevOps with a, with a password and this user has also administrative privilege and so I mean that is able to execute the sudo command and it's done when we hit the begin button we just need to wait sit and relax have a, a coffee or a tea and uh, everything will be installed in our system as you can see I choose the Fedora server that has only the command line interface so it's the most lightweight version of Fedora. Feel free to download which version works best for you. In this step I usually speed up the video because there is actually nothing that we can do rather than watching a progress bar and the package manager and Anaconda the installer is taking care of uh, setting up all the packages in our system. The kernel is usually one of the latest packages installing in our system and is taking care of actually interacting with hardware. The kernel is actually the Linux by himself. So once the bootloader is successfully installed in our system we can see the reboot system button getting blue and we can continue our setup. So get ready to hit that button and see the first uh, bootstrap. Let me quickly remind you that the installer is taking care of setting up all the necessary components in our system and when we got uh, now the reboot system button ready to go everything is already set up for the first execution. Cool! So now let's move our our mouse to the reboot system and we are good to go with our Fedora 30, 30 server edition. Great, so I'm gonna hit the reboot button and the system is going to start from our 
hard drive the first boot is actually taking a little bit longer because you need to configure all the ssh key and some initial component for our system so don't worry too much if the first boot seems to longer because the following will be even shorter great so as you can see this is a grab it means that uh, the operating system is actually starting from our hard drive as you can see there is some uh, GUI interaction and boom we have our lo login prompt now i was sh choosing the server edition so i'm not expecting any ui let me log in using the DevOps user that I was selecting during the installation and let me verify using OS release that this is the Fedora 30 that I was waiting for. Yes! Thank you for watching our tutorial on how to install Fedora 30 on a Mac using VMware Fusion. We are covering everything from downloading Fedora to setting up our virtual machine and installing linux on it you should have a fully functional fedora virtual environment on your mac ready to use for development testing or just exploring linux happy to hear about your success story yay